bike over the head now, and we'll uh, fire up the close-up camera and get over there and start showing you what we saw. Ed, let me ask you a couple of questions while you're looking at the picture there. First of all, what a, in uh, what's your estimation of the uh, angular distance that you were able to see uh, the tail and the sunward spike, and also uh, one that I have. I'm not sure I understood you in the material to the uh, on the right hand uh, quadrant of your uh, picture is that material appear to be in rays or is it uniformly distributed between the sunward spike yes there that's fairly uniformly distributed but because it's so faint we cannot see any fine detail in it it may very well be a series of very small rays or feathers if you will or streamers very small but because it's so very faint uh, your eye can just distinguish that something's there, but you can't see the details. As far as the size, uh, we've estimated, uh, and this again is a very rough estimate, four to five degrees. And this, of course, is greatly dependent upon how dark adapted you are, or just uh, essentially how faint the feature that you can see really is. We know that this tail certainly goes out quite a bit beyond what we've drawn here. When I was dark adapted, and looked at it the first time was probably the best view I had of it. I saw it quite extensively uh, as I pictured it here.